What is going on guys? Today we're playing some more Forza Horizon 2. It just came out yesterday, so I'm very excited to actually jump back into this and play again. And I have just upgraded my car, so we're gonna go drive it around. Um I've also done some races and finished um the first four races, so I already have my I already have my green wristband and dang this thing is fast now, holy cow. So I already have my green wristband, so I think I want to go get, do some more races and try to get the next wristband in this episode, so. Alright, this thing, this thing is fast. So I'm also um, playing with manual with clutch, so I'm, it's a little bit harder for me to shift, so please excuse me if I'm not, like, playing very well. So we're going to go to the world map, and we're going to see what is our next race and where are they at. Or where do I need to go? I think I, I have to go up here. Yeah, I have to go up here. Alright, so we'll get going up there. This thing has a crazy engine in it now. It's so fast. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, slow down fast enough to take turns. Yeah, see, I was going way fast on that. It's not shifting very fast. Alright, so we're almost there. Okay, I have another skill point. That's pretty nice. Um, basically, if you guys don't know yet, the skill points, uh... Okay. The skill points allow you to get perks, which can boost, like, how much money you get and stuff like that, so... Alright, so here's our next races. So I'm gonna set a route to this one. And it's right over here. So we're going to do this race. Hopefully we can get all four of these done in under 30 minutes. So if you guys haven't done so yet, make sure to go check out my previous episode. Um, it took about 10 hours to upload. It was crazy. It was 25 minutes. And the reason that is is because I'm recording in 1080p at 60fps. So I'm doing that because I want you guys to have the best viewing experience from YouTube. So... Basically, I didn't want to record in 720, and 1080p takes forever to upload. So there will probably be an episode every two days, if that's how I play it out. And that's how I uh, upload. I feel like my car is way faster than all of these guys. Okay, hit a bump. Thank goodness that guy was there to actually kind of save me a little bit. Alright. If I'm not talking, it's because I'm trying to concentrate, just FYI. This is, is, this is a kind of a tricky game to actually race, especially with manual, with clutch. This is a pretty long race as well. These guys are right on my tail, holy cow.
Okay. That was a pretty sketchy section right there. Oh, I've got shift. Oops. Yeah, this is kind of a kind of a tricky game to actually get used to. Every time I go to break, I pull in the clutch, and I don't know why. I feel like it's- I think it's because I feel like I'm gonna shift down, but I don't have to. See? Okay. Did you guys just see that? This game has glitches in it, and I hope they fix them because- I mean, what did I just hit right there? That's obviously a glitch, so hopefully they'll fix that. Hopefully somebody says something about that. You know what? Can I rewind all that all back there? I don't think I can. I basically lost this race because of that glitch. Yeah, see. All right, a little sketchy shortcut there. So I'm gonna get second. Yeah, I got second because I, because I uh, had a little glitch there and it like hit me into something invisible. So that really sucked, but at least I was able to go back and actually pull off second. That's not that bad. All right, so that's one race and that was only six minutes, so that's not bad. I leveled up. Alright, so let's go to the next race. You could honestly beat this game pretty fast. It's not very, very long. Alright. Oh, my, uh... I could stare at her all day. Two... Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. I got the, uh, first barn find, and it was a 1967 Lamborghini Miura 400, or LP 400, or something like that. So, that just got ready, I guess. She just got it ready, fixed up, and cleaned up for me, so... I might go pick that up. I might go pick that up during this, uh, during this episode. Wait. Yeah, I'm not going there, am I? Yeah, I'm not. So we going this way. This car is so weird to drive now because it's so fast. I put I put about a hundred thousand dollars into upgrades on it, and it's so fast now. Like, I swapped the engine. It's got a twin turbo in it now. I upgraded all the engine parts. I put a uh, a weight reduction kit on it, so. It's really weird. It shifts really fast now. It's kind of like... Like, it's kind of tricky. It's really fast, so... I guess that's what I'm trying to get to. So let's start this race. Oh crap, that was so bad. I literally drove straight off the road. We are flying right now, holy cow.
come on, really? I shift up. I shifted up because the line was green and I went faster and it just ended up crashing me into that wall. Another thing I noticed about the about this game is the map is freaking huge like they definitely upsized the map compared to Forza Horizon 1 all right I hit something in the road that made me just fly out of control there so I'm at the rewind yet again There's the guys right on our tail. Not a bad race. I messed up a couple times, but you know what? At least I got first. Nice work, mate. So let's move on to the next one. All right, two down, two to go, and then we should have our next ne our next wristband. I'm not sure which color it's going to be. I'm thinking maybe purple or blue. I'm not sure yet, but we will find out shortly. So, after it loads up, we will drive to the next one, and we'll almost be there. This one right here. Yeah, the clutch on this thing is so slow. I feel like I have to hold it in for ages to actually get it to shift. Alright, so next race... We should be able to get these uh, these last two races done in under 10 minutes. So this won't be too long of an episode. Not bad. So we're going to start off. Oh, I held my clutch in a little too long. Oops. Because this is on dirt, and the car does not want to grip onto the dirt very well, so... Oh, come on. It doesn't want to grip on the concrete as well either. I just put $10,000 tires on this thing, and it doesn't want to stick. Oh my god. We're moving up though, which is good.
All right, almost one lap to go. Right here, you can get your car moving down this hill. I just hit 150. And this one as well. Especially after just hitting that turn. Oh my god, that was completely bad. Let's see if we can recover from that. That was horrible. Everything went wrong right there. I I was came in too fast. My car went sideways and then it slammed into that uh building right there. And on the last lap as well, I could have easily lost that. So that was not a bad race. That only took three minutes. Yeah, two and a half minutes. So let's move on. Okay, you've done really well. You just need to come top three in the next race, and the championship is yours. Alright, we're going to head to the last race, and then I believe actually after that one there is another race, like the final race for the for that section, so we'll probably have to do that as well, but that's okay. Okay, I'll just hit that tree there. Alright, so the race is right up here. So let's jump in here and get this one done. It's a three lap race. One thing I don't like about this is how many angles they show the car at. I mean, I just want to start the race. But they show the car at like four or five different angles before you get to start the race. Okay, well, you know what? That was great, because that guy totally derailed me. Come on. Please. And whenever I tried to recover, it completely spun me the other way. It's like, it was like my car, my tires were spinning and they, they gripped and it just shoved it the other way. Okay, I sh accidentally shifted down on that. That was interesting. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay, next lap. This is a really interesting race. Okay, that was bad. I I slowed down way too much. I actually made my car grip to the ground by shifting up. So I think I'm starting to get used to the game and shifting and all that. That was a bad. Oh, did I seriously miss the checkpoint? Wow. You know, I might as well just rewind back to here. Alright, we're getting on to the last lap right about now. Hopefully we can make it a good, a good one or a better one than all the other ones I just had. That was not a very good start to the lap, but you know. This car accelerates so fast. It's hard to actually actually keep it in control. That one, right, that turn right there, it actually stuck pretty good. After it drifted a little bit, it grabbed on. Alright, so we're about to finish the last race. We have a pretty good lead on these guys. And there we go. So four races. Now we might have to do another one to get our wristband, but I'm not sure yet. So we will find out in a second. You know what, I'm actually sure that we have to do another one to get our, our wristband, because last time I did do the plane race. Next destination, Sisteron. Rivals is the best way to compare your skills against your friends. You can earn extra cash too. Give it a try. I love the the cutscene pictures like these ones. These are they're, they're really nice. Like look at that paint on that car. Like the purple and then the blue it looks really cool. Guys, are we ready? We are heading down to the ancient town of Sistron. It's a long drive, but hey, that's what we're here for, isn't it? Nice work. All right, so sharing the championship with a showcase event. Meet me here. All right, I've got to race a helicopter, I guess. I guess we'll do that. Oh, I guess we're racing the sister on. You know, that'd be kind of cool, because then my car is upgraded and everything. I want to see how fast this thing will go. I'm sure it'll do over 200. Alright, we're almost there. There we go. Let's get into this. Rising ground effect. Oh cool, I get to drive a Range Rover and race a helicopter. Hopefully it's pretty fast. Sorry, mate. All 
Oh yeah, this thing's pretty fast. Nice, I'm already in first place after the first checkpoint. Alright, you know, I'm gonna re rewind after that because you can't make mistakes in these races. So, we are behind now. And the thing it is pretty slow. I mean, it accelerates pretty fast, but its, it's top speed isn't the greatest. I keep shifting into fifth, and then I have to shift back down into fourth, and back up to fifth. All right, so we're we're at 150 miles per hour now, and I'm at to slow down quite a bit. Dang, how how's this thing so far ahead? I was just doing 150 miles an hour. Drift. Come on, speed, 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 speed. Yes, mine. Good job. Good race. You know, that chopper pilot promised me that there was no way he'd lose to you. It looks like he did everything he could, but you got him beat. Well done, mate. Nice. So I get my cash, I get my XP, and I get my car. Just for beating that helicopter. I also get my wristband, I think, as well. New car, yes. I'll jump in this car for a little while. Alright, so I got me a, a Range Rover Bowler ERS, I think is what it's called. Yep. So guys, I just wanted to thank you for watching, and make sure to go check out my other videos in this series, and stay tuned for more Forza Horizon 2 coverage, as the game has just come out on the 30th of September. This is October 1st, so guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys.